What is up, Dub Nation? Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been MIA for a couple of days, not uploading full scale videos, just doing those little story things and uh, playing around with that. That's because guys, I've been studying and I've been getting ready for some things that I see coming into fruition. You always have to get prepared for something so that you're prepared for when that something happens. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom. Wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Doug, you ready? Wait a minute. All right, so I know you guys are noticing. Boom, we got two EM1010s right now. So right now we got one MT1501 and two EM1010s. And guys, man, have I got a story for you about how I acquired this EM1010. Guys, sometimes, right? And I tried to tell you guys from day one that these machines were awesome machines. I don't know what you guys, or what some people and why some people put out the things that they put out. But what I like to say, actually, I don't like, I'm not even gonna try to say the saying because I don't know how it goes. So I'm just gonna say, um, sometimes when people don't realize what they have, make that be a benefit to yourself and 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 you can you know get ahead by what somebody else's demise i don't know i'm saying that all wrong but anyway um so somebody all right let me just tell you guys a story okay so i'm always checking online for different things that i need for my business right always trying to n avoid paying full price for things right because let's face it if you can save some a few dollars you no know, here and there everywhere then then you you're that much further ahead if you can pay half price for something and have the rewards of getting it for full price then you know you're ahead of the curve right you're ahead of the game so this one right here you guys saw that i purchased cash money full price a few months ago and this one right here i got for the amazing price of forty five hundred dollars yes i got a machine that's about ten thousand dollars for forty five hundred dollars why <sighs> i don't know but the person that was selling it told me that somebody had it in storage for a really long time and they never paid their storage fees. They never got it out of storage. So I guess they didn't have the room because I got it from uh, almost to New York. I drove all, I drove about two and a half hours to pick it up. Well, actually it was an hour and 40 minutes to pick it up. But um, I got it from like a pawn shop type of thing. Somebody had a, a, a buy gold store and I bought it from, from, from them, right? So I'm always checking, always like, let go i'm always checking ebay i'm always checking the main thing that i always check now because what's popping right now is facebook marketplace facebook marketplace guys is clutch if you want to sell anything and it's not a facebook marketplace um promotion but if you want to sell anything if you're looking for something go check facebook marketplace and see if you can find somebody like you or me that's trying to get rid of something um they might be trying to get some extra money to do whatever and they might have some some perfectly good stuff might because you're always taking a risk and i took a huge risk on this but i knew what to check for and i knew how to you know what functionalities i to to check for to make sure it worked fine right so um before i forget guys if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you're watching the content just hit that subscribe button it'll help out the channel a lot it'll keep me encouraged and motivated to keep on making videos showing you guys how to do cool stuff Thank you for joining Dub Nation. Let's get back to the video. $4,500, guys. So they told me somebody had it in stores. They didn't pick it up. I drove the, uh, um, I checked Facebook Marketplace. I always check Facebook Marketplace for Rokoma machines, though, because you can always get a good deal. And I advise you guys, if, you, if you're on a budget and you got cash, that's the one thing. You got to have cash. You can't finance on Facebook Marketplace, right? You got to have all the cash. So if you go through Rokoma through my affiliate link, you can um, contact Rokoma and through my affiliate link, you can contact Rokoma and you can uh, talk to a sales rep and you can get um, monthly installments. They can set you up with a payment plan if you can't purchase your machine outright. If you don't have the $10,000 or whatever it costs to purchase it outright, you can arrange for a company. I think they go through Synchrony. 
because that's who I finance my um, my MT1501 through. Synchrony. They they use Synchrony. So you can go through Synchrony depending on what your credit is. They can get you some nice monthly payments and you can arrange it in a way that you are getting business to cover that monthly payment and you're also making some money, right? Because um, that's what you want to do. So I suggest before you even do that, try to get your business in line or your prospect, your prospective clients or whatever. Find a school, find a, a, a sports team, find a, um, a, 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 a security club or something like that. Whatever you got to find or just find a group of people that want custom apparel done or whatever. They're willing to use you. But you are, there is going to be a learning curve, so it's going to take you a while, a little while to learn your machine. But put all that in line first so you're setting yourself up for success, right? And then once you figure that stuff out, use my affiliate link, contact Racoma. They can get you down with a payment plan and hook you up, right? So you can be cooking on gas and making that money, right? So guys, the reason why I have both machines, and no, I'm not selling one, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. It would be an awesome flip. I could just sell the machine that I purchased for $4,500 and make a nice profit, but I'm not in this business to make a quick profit, a couple thousand dollars on my perfectly good working machine that I bought for $4,500. I bought it because I'm positioning myself to uh, scale my business and for productivity. And now that I have two machines, I've you know, I can offer, I can feel confident offering my services and knowing that I'm able to pump out a little bit of volume in the same amount of time. Another before I forget guys, these hats will be available on alanawade.com in a few days. If you are interested, drop a like and let me know I am interested in the comments down below. Look at the quality, look at the quality, look at the Look at this, look at this is like really, really soft guys. And it's embroidered on the EM1010 and it feels so good, great quality. Look at this, this is like a soft type of, you guys see that quality, but it's a dope hat. Look at that, got that chain stitch on it. Yeah, you know you want one. Before I was more so just showing you guys the machines and showing you guys how to work it. Was getting clients here and there. Didn't want to take on too much work because I feel like my time is so, so precious and I'd rather do the things that I want to do, like make videos for you guys or just kick kick it, you know, put my feet up on the couch and watch TV, right? But now, the same amount of time it will take me to do one, I can do two. So now I'm going to offer it to you guys. If you want to promote your business or if you just want to represent with your name on a hat or something like that or if you want to do anything like that, Large companies or companies in general don't offer small quantities to people that much. But I'm going to offer, it's going to be a minimum 10 though, but 10 hats. I'm going to start off with hats, right? 10 hats. If you guys want 10 hats, $150 for 10 hats. Um, email me, awproductions at gmail.com. And now I can start going out and seeking, which I already did. I have a few um, steady straight clients that I always get, but now I can go ahead out and start seeking more. Uh, and I'm looking for a certain client. My client is the type of person, is the type of client that um, will do repeat business with me, um, maybe on a monthly basis or every other month, because I, the thing is I know myself and I don't want to get bogged down with too much work. So I have to choose specific types of clients. Like I'm not going to go get a whole school to do all their shirts for, no, that's not my client. That's not what I want to do. It's too time consuming. The money's okay. The money's great and all, but no, I, I'll pass. I'll leave that to you guys. You guys can do all that, right? I just want a few consistently, right? Like 10, 12, maybe even 60, maybe 60 pieces every other month or something like that. But I don't want to be bogged down with too much work. I, I know me and you got to know you and know what you're willing to do, right? So yeah. So guys, I got two EM1010s. This the one I paid full price for. This is the one, $4,500. I just got off of Facebook Marketplace. Always check Facebook Marketplace, guys. DTG's on there. I almost bought a F2100 from, from on there. Um, Rico's on there. Sometimes I see Tajima's on there. Sometimes I see uh, all types of different machines on there. There's Melco on there right now. There's uh, a double head, um, a double head um, Wacoma. Uh, MT 
1502, MT-1502 is what they call it. There's an MT-1502 on there. There's two MT-1501s. I think there's two uh, EM-1010s on there right now as I'm making this video, guys. So always check on there. I encourage you, and I encourage you to, if you guys want to be sure that you're not going to have any issues, just grab the Recomas because you, at least if, if your machine works, Granted, you should check it and all that, but you guys are not going to know what to check for. So ask the person. Hopefully the person knows how to show you that the machine is working. But I knew what, what to check for because, you know, I, I'm, I'm with these machines. I make videos on these machines, right? So the reason why I encourage you to get the Recomas is because I make videos on the Recomas. You guys have seen the videos on the Recomas. There's a lot of content online about the Recomas. So you guys can um, pretty much troubleshoot and kind of know the functionality and kind of ask questions to people that already have them because they're out there, right? People like me, you've seen them running, right? So that's what I encourage you to do. But hey, you know, do what you guys think is best. But once again, I'll say my favorite tagline, mine works, why doesn't yours? But anyway, guys, um, so I'm really, really excited for what's about to happen. Every time in business that um, something, I feel something special is about to happen. I don't know exactly what it is. I have an idea of what it is. Um, with the merch, my plan this year was to uh, make my um, e-store my main source of income. And it has gained momentum as far as the merch is concerned, but it's still not where I want it to be. Because to be honest with you guys, YouTube money is great. Affiliate money is great. Everything is great. Every source of income is great. But the ultimate source of income is one that you control, right? So I encourage you guys, when you're um, in, in your business, make sure that you're not putting your business, your e-store, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you want to sell, whatever it is that you 100% control, make sure you try to put that ahead of everything else because it's real easy for people to entice you with this and that and this and that to promote this, do that, do that. And, um, and lose sight of what it is that you want to do, right? So my goal is to uh, get this new merch out and um, get that moving, get back to my music videos and stuff like that. So this is in preparation of all that and I'm going to do the things that I want to do the way I want to do it so that it reflects me and it's sustainable to me. And um, the, the, my creativity is different from everybody else's creativity and I want to show that um, in the work that I do, whether it be music or whether it be uh, tutorials or whether it be just talking to you guys and give you guys business advice, right? So yeah, I hope this video was helpful, guys. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that's on my mind, but I'm going to follow up with another tutorial. Drop your questions down below. Let me know if you want to do a live tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's say tomorrow at 5 p.m. We can meet back here. If I get 10 people in the comments, no. Let's make that 20. 20 people in the comments to ask me to go live tomorrow. Then I'll go live tomorrow at 5 p.m. so that you guys can ask me questions. I get a lot of DMs on Instagram from you guys. So I figure if I go live right here on YouTube, then, um, then you guys can all come over and ask me all the questions all at once because I'm, I'm constantly asking answering the same questions but guys um that i just wanted to give you guys an update i feel great vertigo nothing i figured out what it was i think it's running with my headphones but um it's just a feeling that i that i used to get back in the day when i ran cross country for high school to stay in shape for indoor and outdoor track which i loved but i hate hated cross country so it's just a feeling that i used to always get after every cross country meet and i noticed that from running yesterday and this vertigo feeling started to come back but this time it felt a little bit familiar and it rung a bell in my head. I'm like, this is how I used to feel back in high school after every single cross country meet. So maybe it was just my overreacting um, from a feeling that I haven't felt in a long time. I'm sweating in here because I haven't um, recorded a video in a minute. I guess I'm a little bit, I'm not nervous. It's just hot down here to be honest with you guys. It's hot, I'm hot. But anyway guys, um, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave your comments down below what you guys want to see next. I have some videos that I want to do, and uh, let me show you guys what, what's up in store. Let me get sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek. See this right here? Have you ever wondered what that second insert on your silhouette cameo was for? Have you ever wondered, why, what do you do with it? 
Well, this is the ratchet blade and I purchased it and I've been meaning to make a video on it to show you guys how to use it. As you guys can see, it's still in the package. So, which means technically I don't even know how to use it yet, but I think I'm gonna experiment with it a little bit and then I'm gonna make a video showing you guys exactly what you can do with the ratchet blade and specifically what comes to mind when I, when I purchased this ratchet blade is applique. You can go ahead and cut out your fabrics to the exact shape that you want them to be and you can embroider them onto whatever it is you want to embroider on have the nice border and you don't have to trim the edges right because you can cut it with your silhouette cameo how cool is that you can do that with your se 600 your p800 or your em 1010 or your mt 1501 guys so stay tuned for that let me know if that's something you guys are interested in more silhouette cameo videos with embroidered with uh, silhouette designs coming up and I'm excited guys let me know DM me if you guys want something made we can talk about the specifics and um, yeah so uh, that's my update guys I got an EM 1010 for forty five hundred dollars can you guys believe that how lucky am I how lucky am I See, it could have been one of you guys could have been one of you guys but you're not when I say I check every day I check about three times a day online for like different stuff just to, just for curiosity and I'm a you know serial shopper so you know it is what it is but uh thank you guys for watching just wanted to talk to you guys and give you guys an update talk to you guys tomorrow peace turn up that break it up while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby